It's Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church, and this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And we're still in February. We're still talking about love, amen and hallelujah. And I have a word specifically for you from the Lord as it pertains to love. Glory to God, amen. And the word is going to come out of Matthew 5 and 22, and we're going to title this, In Christ, Love Conquers Hate. And the word reads, But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, and you all know we've called someone an idiot before, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, all right, watch out now. We we stepping on a lot of toes right there. It says, if you curse someone, you're in danger of the fires of hell. Amen and hallelujah. Glory to God. Family. We have a natural tendency to hate God or ignore God and also to hate and ignore others. Amen. We tell ourselves we're good people. And for the most part, a lot of us are really good people. But our selfishness and anger lie just below the surface. It is right there. y'all. It's right there. Amen. Often our anger erupts in violence. Amen. Hateful words and actions. If we don't seem angry, it may just mean that our anger has not yet reached its boiling point. Amen and hallelujah. Or our anger has not had an opportunity to erupt. In fact, we may be seething with inner anger. And there's a song um, that I used to listen to when I grew up as a child. It went like this. Don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Uh huh, 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 huh. Come on now. Y'all better give it to me on that one. Y'all better come get me on that one. Amen and hallelujah. Help me, somebody. So, strictly following the command, you shall not murder, is not enough to overcome hatred. We must address the source of that sin. If we keep our anger from boiling over, uh, we do well. I mean, we often find ourselves in a good position. Amen. But to gain mastery over anger, we all need love. We have to show love. Amen. And showing love, especially towards people who have hurt us. And I know that's a big, heavy lift, but we have to show love to people who have hurt us. And, you know, family, that just doesn't come naturally for us. Amen. In fact, only the supernatural love of God can overcome the hatred that we feel for our enemies. We can't do this thing on our own. Uh, we have to look into the love of Jesus Christ, the agape love of Jesus Christ to help us love our enemies. Amen and hallelujah. When the Romans and the Jews, the Jews, I'm sorry, hatefully killed Jesus Christ, he could have called on God's army of angels and said, hey, put this to an end. Stop this right now. But that's not what Jesus did. Amen and hallelujah. But instead, he responded in love, asking the father to forgive them. And when he was on the cross, he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. When Jesus gave himself for us on the cross, he certainly obeyed the law. Do not kill. That was the law. Do not kill. But he did far more than that family. He did far more than that. He fulfilled the greatest law of love. Let us pray. Oh, God, help us not to add to the anger in our world today. Help us not only to control our anger, but also to overcome it with your love. And thank you for showing us love the way that you did through your son, Jesus Christ. It is in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Family, I just want you to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I want you to know that God loves you so much more. So until this time, next week, Friday, have a most favored weekend.